But let me quickly say this in this intense atmosphere. Thank God for the purification fire. Thank God for the Holy Ghost fire. But word fire and prayer fire takes investments. Continuous investment. and every day keep me on fire for you continually and every day keep me on fire for you continually and every day keep me on fire for you continually and every day keep me on fire I want to burn, oh. I want to burn, oh. I want to burn. I want to burn, oh. I want to burn, oh. I want to burn. I want to burn, oh. I want to burn, oh. I want to burn. sit down. It's a bit of a challenge in an atmosphere like this. I have discovered very quickly and I'm led to share with you everybody that you have seen carrying some dimension of fire has to pass through this process. That's right. Can I show you the process? Very quickly, four of them. You need a desire for fire. A man must desire it to carry it. If you don't desire it, you don't deserve it. That is in these four dimensions, you must follow these four processes. If it's purification fire, where it must all begin, prayer fire, where your responsibility and my responsibility. He may give us the grace, but we must pray. If it is word fire, you need it. Like Jeremiah, shut up in your bones. You must study. If you want the Holy Ghost fire, you must be ready to pay whatever price it takes. Desire. Proverbs 18.1 A man separates himself by desire. Not everybody can continually be your companion after a day like this. Desire for fire number two, very importantly, is desperation for fire. Some have the desire but lack the desperation. Desperation for fire. That is a hunger and a test. That whatever it will take, this fire I must carry. I heard the apostle say, and in case you do not know, judgment will begin in the house of God. I told them sometimes in the United States, I said, a time is coming where people will climb the altar to sing and they will be struck dead. Desperation for fire. I can't be lukewarm. Look at
are people in my generation carrying fire and making impact. When will I stop these explanations and begin manifestation? Desperation for fire. Hungering and thirsting. If it takes a fast, go through it. Psalm 63, verse 1 to 3. We are tired of religion. Church without fire is a clubhouse. Desperation for fire. In case you are a minister here, why should you carry the microphone and nothing happens? I told them some time ago, in case you pastor a church, we have left the realm of flyer. We are now in the dimension of fire. Where you will not need flyer to have the houses of God filled. Because a house on fire doesn't need announcement. Desperation for fire. Number three, very importantly, is denial for fire. Denial. There are things you must deny to be firefight. Denial for fire. He said, if they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. Families may have to desert you because you carry the fire. Friendships may end because you carry the fire. You may be denied or you may have to deny yourself of certain things because of your desperation that began with a desire for fire. So desire, one. Two, desperation. Three, denial. Denial. I will not touch the unclean. God is looking for a church with character and balance. Holiness becoming the highway, the standard. In Luke chapter 14 verse 26, he said, if any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Denial for fire. Desire for fire. Two, desperation for fire. Three, denial for fire. Can I tell you the fourth one? It is colossal in nature. It is called death for fire. You come to a place of death. John chapter 12, verse 23 down to 26. Jesus answered them saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man Place that please on this larger screen should be glorified <laughs> but except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies it abided alone but if he dies if he dies he bring it forth much fruit Desire for fire is the first stage, not the last one. From a desire to desperation to denial, and then you come to a place of death. Paul the Apostle said, Philippians 1 and verse 21, For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. And there are already sounds of revival. One from Sunday Theophilus. Men were 
in those days. This gospel must be preached even with the price of death. John Knox said, Give me Scotland or I die. There's no need living. I have left the realm of desperation. I started with a desire, left the realm of desire, graduated to desperation, graduated from the desperation, and moved on to denial. Now John Knox got to the point of death. Where you are dead to every kind of desire, except for that of fire. Continually and every day, keep me on fire. interruption that's right that's right we have left the era of explanation when the era of manifestation the whole creator is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God but manifesting the light begins with the baptism of fire John 5 35 must become a life scripture he made him a burning and shining light the light we are talking about cannot shine without a fire burning To step into these dimensions of fire begins with purity. For who shall ascend to the heel of the Lord? He that has a clean heart and pure hands and has not lifted up his soul to vanity. That's the first introduction. Purification fire. He will sit as a refiner. And a purifier. He will purify the sons of Levi. That they may offer offerings unto God. Purification fire. Then prayer fire. That's what they did in the upper room. Prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. And fire just... There is nobody you see manifesting any dimension of fire that has not prayed. At least any message preached now. But the thing has been cooked. Then you move from there to word fire. The word has capacity to inject some dimension of fire. For his word was in my life like fire. Shut up in my bones. When God, can you imagine God wake you up and say, You are my promise to your generation? Can you be ordinary after that kind of encounter? Injected by the world. And then what you have next is Holy Ghost fire. They prayed and prayed and prayed. Then the Holy Ghost came and released his own dimension of fire. What am I saying? Let me submit to you. 
We've prayed and prayed and we'll continue to pray until we see revival and we'll not stop praying. Right? But there is no revival without these four steps. One day the Lord said, you are praying and praying for people to come to the church. The church needs to be ready first. Revival begins with sanctification within. That has been dealt with. He's coming for a church without spot nor wrinkle. A pure bride. Clean bride. And then the church must now graduate to another dimension of prayer. I was glad I heard yesterday we had one hour of praying in the spirit. All that prepared the ground for what is happening now. Then one scripture can be fired up within you and you come out as, as, as a lion. You left as a cat. You returned as a lion. One word. And then continuously engaging the Holy Spirit. His fire is here. God told me he's in the midst of raising an army. And there are mantles that are needed to dismantle the plan of the wicked. I don't know how we are going to do it, but it will be wrong to think everybody has the same desire. It will be wrong to think everybody has the same desperation. It will be wrong to think that many people here have the decision for denial. And I'm not sure everybody here, some would do, but I'm not sure everybody does, has gotten to the point of death for this fire. Go study what men like Evan Roberts did. The one who God used to champion the Welsh Revival. It was the Welsh Revival that transported to Azusa Street. Evan Roberts was in Bible school and had to be kicked out of Bible school. This thing is not tradition. They said according to write-ups that when you see Evan Roberts, he looked so ordinary that nothing good could come out of him. But he passed through the process. Purification. Prayer. The word. And suddenly, Holy Ghost fire came upon him. And he began to pray and pray and pray in class to a point where he would fall off from his chair praying. What they were teaching in Bible school was archaic. It was far below the dimensions God had brought him to. And they took Evan Roberts for a medical checkup. And they checked him and checked him and checked him. They said, we have found one disease in this, him, this man. Guess what they call the disease? Religious mania. There is something in his spirit that is affecting his behavior outside. So they sent him packing from Bible school. And he came to a meeting like this. Why is it that God is always looking for the current generation? With 14 people or so. That is what ended up as the Welsh Revival. When will new generation Evan Roberts arise? We are talking of men and women that carry fire. What of Catherine Kuman? Who told you a woman and God can't use you? What of Smith? Who goes what? The illiterate. Look at our nation. What of Archbishop Benson in Lahosa? When will men like that arise? One time the Lord told me, he said, Isaac, tell them to stop asking where is the God of Elijah. Tell them I am asking them where are the Elijahs of God. I never heard it from the mouth of any mortal man. The 
generation is saying, we are looking for God. And God is saying, I'm looking for a man. For I sought for a man. One of those days, by God's word, it came flashing and heavy. He said, I have not just made you a part of an army. I've made you a missile. There's a difference. An instrument in the hand of God. The mantles are about to drop. You can't ask for mantles to drop if you are not a partaker of mantles. John came in the power and the spirit of Elijah. Look at Elijah. Look at John. When Jesus was on the Mount of Transfiguration, who did he see? Elijah and Moses. My time is up, but you check it. Those were all firebrand people. Moses came down from the mountain. They couldn't look at his face. You know why? Fire. But today, the 4th of February, right here in Unilag, this is one of the assignments God is giving me. Even if only one person carries an ancient mantle, and we go from campus to campus to campus to campus to campus, in a short while, the Asian mantles will have returned back on current vessels. These are things I've cried for in my secret. Let Asian mantles return back again. They are not meant for the grief. That's why when Elisha went down, even in his grave, it worked. So he didn't carry the mantle to heaven. Ancient mantles are seeking current vessels. Stand on your feet. Thank you, Lord Jesus. have moved from desire gone to desperation you've moved from desperation to denial and you are saying right in this meeting I want to get to the realm of death for fire like Paul the apostle for me to live is Christ and to die is gain Desire ancient mantles. To rest upon me. Amy McPherson, the mantle is still hovering. Ketrin Kuman hovering. Evan Roberts hovering. Smith Wugosworth hovering. It's not human worship. It's a dimension of the spirit. manifest it can't be anything that is around our realm now it has to be something the world hasn't seen our generation hasn't seen but the grace and the mantle are dropped now let me also say this and please doctor permit me you need this mantle to climb your mountain I'm not just talking of people who will stand to preach I'm talking of people who will take over mountains of industry That is me. I want the first 50 people to run who desire something ancient upon their life. 50. That's all. That's all. Don't come out again. We have all we need. Raise your hand. And just wherever you get to, that's okay. Lord, if it is true, you reveal this mystery. I'm not just talking of a handkerchief or something given to you as a man to know. There is an ancient grace that is needed for your assignment in the now. Ancient mantle for current vessels. It doesn't have to be a white handkerchief. Nobody has to lay hands on you. 
Uh -uh. But right here in Unilag, on the 4th of February, the mantles are dropping. The mantles. The mantles, the mantles, the mantles. Lift your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost very intensely. The mantles, the mantles, the mantles, the mantles are dropping. The mantles are dropping. The mantles are dropping. The mantles. Let your fire fall. Let the river flow. Let the river flow. Let the river flow. Let the river flow. Let your fire fall. Let your fire.
teaching before I came in, purification fire was released. Now with your hands lifted up in this shot of the wall and get ready for it. When the Holy Ghost busts out, we have nothing to do with it. And Jesus breathed on them and he said, receive the Holy Ghost. Something will drop on you because someone is walking in you. Someone is at work. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Keep your hands up. It's going to burn like fire upon you. It's already started. Now I release this dimension of fire. Oh yes, in his abundance. Take it in the name of Jesus.